Hi everyone and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today we're going to make a rainbow cake and not just a rainbow cake, we're going to make an ice cream rainbow cake. So that's a lot of fun. And what do they say is at the end of every rainbow, a pot of gold or is it a monster? I don't know, I get my fairy tales muddled up. Let's get on and make this rainbow cake. Now for each layer of our rainbow cake, I want to make one layer of ice cream and I'm going to mix them up individually because it makes it a lot simpler for measurements. I've got 120 grams, that's about four ounces of thick whipping cream in a bowl here. And into our cream, we're going to add some condensed milk, exactly half of the condensed milk that we have cream. So for this 120, I'm putting 60 grams, that's about two ounces of condensed milk. And then we can get rid of the scales there. Now I'm going to take a hand mixer, you could do this with a stand mixer as well, and I'm going to whip this cream up until it gets soft peaks, it'll increase in volume. And that is what I'm looking for, the cream has thickened up and it's in nice, light, soft peaks like that. Now we need to colour this, I'm going to start with a, a fuchsia pink. Because this is a gel mixture, we only have to put a, a drop or two in there, and that should be sufficient. Let's just mix that one through now. Look at that beautiful pink straight away starting to come through there. And just continue to mix that through until you have a nice even colour. Now the next stage is to take a loaf tin and just line it. I put some grease paper all the way through the inside and this is really to lift the cake out with at the end. And I'll put the size of this tin up on the screen there so you can see. And we're just going to take our pink now and pour it into the bottom of the tin. And then you just want to flatten this first layer down using the back of a spoon I think works best. Now you do want to try and get this layer as flat as possible but it's very hard while it's runny like this. So we pop this in the freezer now for half an hour so it firms up. Then before we put the next layer in we can actually use the firmness of the ice cream to flatten it and get it a lot smoother. Now here's my second batch of ice cream and I'm going to add uh, a royal blue. I want a nice blue for this uh, second layer. So again, another drop in there. And then we we'll start to uh, mix that through till we get a lovely smooth colour again. Now I've just got my pink out of the freezer. It's been in there about 30 minutes and it's reasonably firm now. Now's a great time to try and level this down a little bit. Now that might look a little rougher, but it's actually a lot smoother. And now, because it's frozen, I can pour the blue straight on top of there. Now I've been experimenting with uh, getting the layers as flat as possible. And actually, I found a nice wide spatula like this. And if you just drag it across the top of the ice cream, like that before you freeze it, it gets you a really quite nice flat surface. And then we can pop that back in the freezer for half an hour, let it firm up before we put the next colour in. And then in goes my green. And then with each colour, I'm going to freeze it before I start with the next colour. And on top of the green, I'll pop the yellow. And that looks beautiful. And the second to last layer is this wonderful purple colour. Just put that on top of the yellow. Now before we put the final red layer on the top, I want to show you, I'm going to make a, a piece of actual cake to go on the top. I'm not actually going to make it, I'm going to show you a little tip. Rather than go and bake a little thin cake, I've bought one of these flan cakes. Now they're pretty thin, and they're very inexpensive, most of the uh, supermarkets sell them. So what I'm going to do is take this flan now and I'll measure the inside of the bread tin. And then once I've marked that onto here, I can cut the flan into a large oblong. And when I've cut the oblong like that, I'll keep these little bits because they'll be great for making cake pops later on. Just pop them in the freezer and store them. Then I'm going to put my last layer of ice cream on there. I'm going with a red, or as close to red as you can get. And then again, starting with our spoon, we're just going to flatten that down over our purple. And then using our spatula, we just want to try and level that off. It doesn't have to be perfect this time. And before we freeze it this time, while the red layer is still fairly wet, we're going to take that uh, piece of sponge and we're just going to lay it down on top of the red and just push it down fairly firmly. And then that is going to go in the freezer now and completely set. That should be left for a good few hours or even overnight as I'm going to do it before we prepare the cake for the last stage. 
Now I left my rainbow cake in the freezer overnight so it's lovely and firm and I'm going to use these bits of paper here to lift it out and then we're going to take this wonderful cake and we're going to make it beautiful. And for those of you that are thinking this is a lot of hard work, fun is never hard work. So I've taken my ice cream cake now out of the loaf tin and it's just a little damp on the top and I'm going to use these rainbow coloured sprinkles and put them over the top. And I'm doing this before I trim the cake up because that way all the sides will be clean. And I'm just going to use the back of the spoon just to push them into the ice cream and flatten it down. So when you've got that lovely rainbow sort of sprinkles over the top, we can take the cake now and uh, we're going to take a sharp knife and just trim off the edges of this cake. Now, look at this, guys. All the way down and just pull that aside and there you have it. But doesn't that look fantastic? Now, I'm going to trim the whole cake up. So I've got a lovely even edge to the whole thing. There is the side. Now look at that guys, there is the rainbow cake. I'll just pop it on a paddle here and I'm going to put that back in the freezer. That's ready for a party. I'm really, really pleased with the way these have come out. I'll put some photographs up here now and show you the finished product. But um, uh, one thing I, I didn't mention actually, uh, on some of these layers I decided to add a little flavouring. I didn't say, sorry I didn't say that before, but I actually put some mango essence in the yellow and a little bit of vanilla in some of the other ones as well. And you can pretty much put any flavours you want. But it's the colours that look great. The kids will absolutely love them. They go wild for this sort of thing. It's a fantastic cake. But look at that, even the little offcuts look fantastic. I'm going to pop those in the freezer as well and serve those as little treats. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a lot of fun to make cakes like this. A little bit of work, but really, as I say, a lot of fun. Please share the love, give me the thumbs up. Take care, I'll see you in the next video. As always, that was a lot of fun, guys. If you're new to Steve's Kitchen, hit the subscribe button and stay involved with the channel. I love to hear from you guys. I'll leave some uh, links here to some other great recipes on Steve's Kitchen. There are heaps, hundreds of videos there uh, that you can go and browse through at your leisure. Lots of different cakes and savoury ideas as well. So be good. See you in the next video. Take care.